already. I mean, I'm just back. This is my first day back. People are already giving me a hard time. Somebody uh, emailing me today because I said my TV doesn't get Bill Maher, which is true. He's on HBO, and I don't get it. I said, and if it did, I wouldn't watch Bill Maher. Not because I have any political agenda one way or the other. I just don't like him. There are a lot of people I don't like, and I don't watch. Starting with anybody on current. But that's another story, and I was accused of being you know, conservative and having some sort of political agenda, and as you Ed's head watchers know, I routinely rip people on the right, like Sean Hannity and his unwatchable program as well. So I'm an equal opportunity uh, critic when it comes to media quote-unquote personalities. All right, more importantly, while I was away, I got to drive some of the finest small cars that international automakers offer. I had a really nice one in Florida uh, for a time. And here's a clue. When you're out driving around, be it in your own car or an import, or an uh, import, in this case it was an import, don't drive into curbs. It's a bad idea. You hit a curb, and you flatten the tire, and then you have to call the car company, and, of course, you don't have the insurance for the tire, and then they're going to tell you it's uh, $58 or something. What? You think I did that? How poor of a driver do you think I am? Okay, so as a result of that and getting lost in the D.C. area and in the Tampa area, I give up. Time to go for the GPS thing. I'm asking around, people at work say they're pretty much all the same. I need one that talks. I need one that has lifetime map updates. But uh, I can't be getting lost anymore. And apparently, as I hit my mid-50s, I can't read a map anymore. So, all right, you win. I won't tweet. I won't Facebook. I do read email. But no longer will I fight the inevitable time to get the GPS.